the last race I'm bringing you here in week two of the flat racing of the Starters Orders League. I hope you've enjoyed all the commentaries, folks. It's a one mile one furlong maiden for two year olds. The Joshua Sutherland Stakes, Amenable Joanna Steve Rand, Cavalier for Jim Murray, Dazzling Legend for Joshua Sutherland, Mayor of Simpleton Leon Van Rensburg, No Small Change for Craig Beckwith, Seattle Price Tag Vinnie Gerard, Sublime Choga Dan Hughes, Super 18 Satyam, Totally Bonkers for Obi Wan, Tup Master Alex Ince. Running in Flay, Mike Westwood, Baliamo Conquest, Alex Cherry, Gambling Cante for Davy Ladd, Hunting the Legend, Joshua Sutherland, Him, Lizzie T. Rogers, Cranjus Queen, Satyam, Libus Huro, James Shea, Rainbow River, Martin Leadham, Roaring Hawk, Dan Hughes, Sleepy Ending for Craig Allen, Star of the Age for Leon Van Rensburg, and last but not least is Yellow River for my co-commentator, Martin Leadham, and they are off and running and one of them is racing outside of the track, as is the size of the field. And that's one of Leon Van Rensburg's runners. So um, we'll pretend that rail's not there, shall we, as they have a mile left to travel here in this Joshua Sutherland stake. So Joshua Sutherland's thrown two into the race to try and win the race that is named after him. He has Hunting Legend, who is currently towards the rear of the field, and Dazzling Legend, who is currently racing in that kind of chasing pack the peloton, so to speak, that are approximately four or five lengths off the lead, which, once again in a race that I'm commentating, is being set by one of Jim Murray's horses, Cavalier, the front runner today. Can this one hold off all challenges? Five and a half furlongs left to go, currently has the lead of about two lengths to Tup Master, and then a further couple of lengths back to Gambling Cande. No small change towards the rail. Amenable Johanna and Dazzling Legend in the middle. And totally bonkers on the far side. And then there's a gap of about five lengths back to a chasing pack. Many of the jockeys getting to work now trying to inch closer. And that includes Mayor Simpleton, Sleepy Ending, Roaring Hawk, the favourite there. The grey horse in the all blue silks is trying to make some progress as well. As we're into the final three furlongs. And the jockey has already said go on Cavalier and wants to really stretch these horses out and so far it's been a pretty good response but you can now see that it might be getting a little tired up front as Dazzling Legend and Amenable Johanna are starting to make some eye-catching progress as is no small change just in behind them inside the furlong and a half to go Gambling Cante making some progress on the back look for Sleepy Ending for Craig Allen and the favourite Roaring Hawk Roaring home down the centre of the track but Sleepy Ending's got first run on that one half a furlong left to go Cavalier's race is round Sleepy Ending has the lead Roaring Hawk fighting back Roaring Hawk gets ahead Roaring Hawk wins it one landed for favourite backers Dan Hughes, he'll have been roaring that one home watching, absolutely flew home, didn't give up that horse on catching Sleepy Ending, that got first run on it, thought it might have slipped away from it, but there was still enough time for Roaring Hawk to claw it back, claw that lead back and get itself out in front and start stretching away as they hit the line, Roaring Hawk, a really impressive winner of the Josh Sutherland Maiden Stakes for Dan Hughes. Sleepy ending, uh, good runner up there for Craig Allen. Cavalier, the long-time leader, back in third for Jim Murray. And Hunting the Legend, fourth for Joshua Sutherland. Amenable Joanna completes the top five for Steve Rann.